Hi there, uh, people, and welcome to a new episode on Fusion 360. Here we will work on the oil tank, as I said on the last episode or in the previous episode. To do so, you can uh, just uh, isolate this part oh, click on isolate and as you can see we have only one part on the assembly select the first element or the whole assembly create a new uh, component as you can see here I will put the name oil tank here Okay. Once you finish that, you can, as you can see here, show the axis and plan. It's not okay, as you can see. As you can see here, I will choose this surface and draw on, draw on it. Okay. They continue. First thing first is to project these edges. Press P, as you can see, project and select one by one these edges. As you can see here, we have a rectangle. The goal here, if you want to change the crankshaft bearing, your oil tank it will adjust automatically. Okay. Okay. Select all these zone. As you can see. Sorry, I'm here, I'm using a tablet. When I click on the value here, it shows me the keyboard. Okay, we have three millimeter here. And select this surface. As you can see. And uh, start a new sketch. You can see you turn it like that, select this one, make an offset. As you can see, put minus 15. Okay, and then select this zone, press Q to have this extrusion. As you can see here, Okay. Here I will uh, show this one. So you can see here. Okay, to take a reference. As you can see here see the reference of x y and z okay as you can see there and show your cylinder uh, black as you can see here you see this one you just turn it like that and draw it here okay as you can see here we have extrusion here we will make it in this side If you do an error here, you will have another error when we put the oil uh, pump because uh, when you do so, you have to edit this feature in the future. Okay, 
this one I will put here a dimension of 50 and between this I have uh, 200 here Just believe in in uh, what I'm typing on the on the screen because I can't see well when I'm recording uh, with uh, the microphone. Okay, just believe. Don't believe what uh, I am telling you on uh, uh, on dimensions. Just apply what I am typing on the keyboard. Because I, I remember uh, one of follower asked me a question that I think uh, are dimension different uh, about what I said. That's because I can I see uh, I don't see uh, well when I'm recording. Okay. Because when you make a video, you have to cast the screen and edit this video to add the the voice. Okay, it takes time. Because people asked me why you are sharing. Uh, you are not sharing all episode. It takes time, and I'm working on parallel. That's. It's not, uh, and I have a family, and all that. All that. It's too hard to do it uh, and synchronize all of this. Just what you have to add here is add um, a fillet. Just use uh, Control to select all um, all edges. Same thing here, my tablet shows the keyboard. As you can see here. I have a nice result here. I want just to add another fillet. Okay, I just want to add another fillet. Um, to to make it smooth okay as you can see here I will add a fillet here press F or click here fillet and select these edges using control to select one by one Okay. Let's see you finish that. You can hide all of other other parts because we will apply the shell here. The shell is a good feature. We we use it to uh, to cut material in the anterior anterior of uh, volume body as you can see here when you use it on the surface it will cut the surface here I forget to select and add the fillet here I will add the fillet of 2 uh, two millimeter in here in the radius as you can see here Okay, and now you shell the same thing, select the surface. As you can see, we have a fillet in the interior or I will tell you exterior, okay, of the of the oil tank. All thing is alright here. 
maybe we will add host as I did on the the current shaft bearing cap we will add maybe host after we will finish all of this because it's the detail of this one okay let's show all by clicking by right click here okay so you can see and it's related all and we have a nice result here with uh, with the oil tank it starts to see the v12 engine but it's not complete because in the next episode we'll work on the top uh, top level of uh, the v12 engine and add more detail to start animate this engine in fusion okay as you can see here i add uh, um, a cut here a section cut to see what's going on in the interior if all thing is all right please i will i will tell you see you in the next episode and um, maybe in the next week i will share another tutorial in other software see you and thanks for all subscriber find me in facebook and instagram thanks